you own the ticket item. Yeah. Let me check my well, You're already behind schedule. You hurry up. Okay, yeah. I have two pieces oh. of wood. Now these are pretty prime pieces of wood. Oh, that work? Wood. Ooh, I think this is... Okay, yeah. we have a place to stay for a week. We'll be back in a week. A week? We like trees. A week? A week. It's like plenty of time for us. It takes us, what, maybe 15, 20 minutes to make a home? Uh, I'm thinking more along the lines of, like, an hour, but... An hour? Okay, okay. Fair enough. Let me just get you know, a sip of my gel. She did say she wanted a home, right? Or a house. I think she, well, what is the difference? Well, you know, a home is more than a house. What is the home we then? Feel a home, we feel safe. You know, we have, we can bring people together, we have our thoughts. It's, it's very home. comforting. It's very comforting. You can choose who you let in, who, who you, you kick out. out. Yeah. One of my favorite things. Yes, of course. So, we're going to have to design this home for her. Okay, well, I got a nice big piece of paper for some blueprints here, so let's just get... Let me do... uh, you, you, for the blueprints, I'm going to need this. Okay. Fair so for this project... So we, we need to take on some contractors for this project, right? We will. Okay, I think I see then, them right over there. This is our contractors over here, yeah. Right, okay, our... so let's explain, let's explain the project. So, hey everybody, uh, my name is Botticelli Contractor Woman, and this over here... I'm Donatello, Supervisor Contracting Guy. Yes. So and the hard hat, see? Yeah. He's our architect. I'm, I'm the, the architect, contractor. he's the contractor, it works out very well. Yeah. I like your... Uh, your little, what does that even stand for? Super manager, creative man? No, it actually stands for supervising manager, contractor man. Thank you, that's exactly what you just said. How could I be yes. so on. foolish? So, this is part of the Yellow Line Contracting Company. Yeah. A contractor should be about 6 to 13, Yeah, this, but is, this is the draw paint sculpt line. We've got yes. a series of houses and homes mm -hmm. for the draw, for draw paint, paint sculpt. sculpt. Yeah, okay. And they should be what? 6 to 13, but... If they're older, eh, you might be a little less physically um, able, but if your mind is sharp, we can still use you. Precisely. That's exactly what I've always said. So um, I think we're ready to start explaining what we're going to need and the and the steps for this project. Yeah. Am I right? Uh, Anything yeah. else on the checklist? Uh, no. Just make sure when you're at home helping us with this project, you have your own space. You know, you might need your own parent supervisor to help you set up the space. Yeah. You might need to create a, uh, you need to keep out sign, you gotta put up your erect your uh, fences with that weird, like, like, uh, yeah. uh like fiber I, I you talking green about. orange stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta set up your system. Then, you gotta make sure you've got all the materials you the materials need. Materials and Maybe you even want a little bit of music. Do you like our music? Or a little bit of a cup, snack or cup something. Cup of joe. Somewhere you feel a little bit messy if there's a window. Perfect. We love some natural light, okay? And after all you're all set up, kick them out, because we out don't, who? We, the owners, the parents, we don't need them. This we don't need them. Push Dangerous, up. dangerous work dangerous, here. Dangerous, dangerous work. Yeah, they helped you set it up, but now it's your time to shine. Maybe grab yourself a contractor buddy if you're an architect. Yeah. Or if you're a contractor, grab yourself an architect. You always need a friend. Yeah. Yes. So take your 15, and we'll see you after. Sounds good. It's time to get back to work! Yup, come on! All right. 15 is over, people, so let's get back to the project. You are building tiny, miniature tree houses, because I remember she said she liked trees, so we're going to put like it in trees, a tree. And it's for her baby. It's baby for like her baby. baby, so we're going to build miniature tree houses, and you guys are going to build some so that she has options. Okay, we're all going to build more. We need one. options. We need options, most important thing. Okay. Yeah. So. So materials. What are we gonna need? What you need first, of course, you got to. No, not quite yet. We're not ready for the hammer. We don't need a hammer first right now. First thing is okay. you got to be able to sketch out your ideas. You can't just go into this blind. No. So you're gonna need some sketch paper, but also. Pencil. A pencil. Very important. And what comes with a pencil? Uh, an eraser. Which, yeah, that's an eraser. Yep. Perfect. Um, okay. So after that, once you have your ideas sketched out, you're gonna need your supplies. So yeah. we're gonna need. Wood. wood. Except that's our precious money, so this don't get that This is our precious money. We, we need don't. some glue. We're gonna need okay. glue. Okay, so tell me, Don Clo, tell me the situation with the glue. The because glue is special. Yeah, it's kind of intricate. This is this is wood glue, and wood glue itself is very thick and sticky, and it doesn't like to pour. Viscous, yes. Vis what is viscous? Well, basically thick and sticky. Oh, it doesn't okay. like to pour. You really... Perfect. You did it right there. Perfect. 
You're going to want yourself to get yourself a cup that you're not going to use because you don't want to drink out of it afterwards. Oh, yeah. So this is an old cup from yogurt, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Yogurt. Or some ice cream. Maybe yes. eat some ice cream so you have a cup. You know, it's a great experience. And next, is you're going to want to um, open up the top. Yes. And you're going to pour it in here so you have it ready. And get yourself a glue brush. What is a glue brush? A glue brush is a brush that... um. After neglecting it and not keep it, taking care of your supplies, you've actually created a new supply. It's got thick, it's got like nice stiff bristles, and it doesn't need to be used for paint. So, so I create it just by having a brush kind of old, and then I yeah. can use it for glue? Yeah. After I do that, can I use it again for paint? I, it's not smart, because no? you'll okay. be able to, it won't, it won't move, it'll be stuck. Okay, so now we get to my favorite part, okay? Well, but you're, you're, you're jumping ahead again. No, I'm not. Down. My favorite part is the architectural sublime. Oh, okay. Yeah. Found objects in your house. You have leftover um, bricks from like building stuff, mm -hmm. you know, Legos. Um, the top of bottles, some bottle tops. Yeah, these, yeah. We got Stoppers some and blocks. Some blocks. We got More found wood, that cardboard that we cut. Yes. Yeah. Ooh, we got some, and this is one of Optical my favorites. Sticks. Popsicle sticks. So you can eat popsicles too along with your ice cream. Right, just like a lot of frozen treats, you know, and it's justified for for the construction. Yeah, product. you might need um, these sponge brushes to um, decorate your supplies. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there are three more important things that you're going to need to get started. What? Well, they're optional, but they're still important. You're going to need yourself a friend. I got mine. You're going to need yourself an imagination. I got mine. It's sure? protected. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. Gotta protect those imaginations. Definitely. Okay? Can't make any, make, make sure nothing gets through that. And What's the third? The third is just a sense of adventure and spirit, because we're looking for children and contractors who are bold, creative, imaginative, and expressive. And expressive. Okay. And also handy. Handy. Very important. So, yeah. I think yeah, we're ready. we have start. everything to get started. I hope you're ready, because okay. this is going to be a very intense project. Yes. So a good supervisor always delegates his tasks. So I sent out Monticelli to go scavenge, which is step one. You gotta go and find just whatever you want. If you go and find a, a straw oh, or- right. Oh, right. Oh, Donatello, right. I found some very interesting things. Aprons. Aprons. Yeah, because we're not wearing aprons. We're, we're not aprons. wearing our protective oh safety wear. You got your, your helmet to protect your- The permit. Imagination. You lost the project. It cost us Completely. millions. Of pieces of wood. Yeah. So, now that you have all your supplies, everything you need, your Legos, your Did you tell them about the, the scavenging? I did. Yeah, Finding all the little bits and bobs that are going to make your project creative and, and uniquely you, oh, you know? We got paint. Paint. Lovely. Okay. Oh, and I almost forgot. You might need some tape, too, for later on. Oh, tape. That's something else I scavenged while we were gone. Without you knowing, I'm, oh. I'm a ninja. You're a sly scavenger. So, now that you've scavenged, you're going to need your pieces of paper. If you want to put it on a clipboard to seem extra fancy and put together, Not always an important tip. So, okay. take your pencils, take your imagination, and take your clipboards, and start sketching out some ideas, you know? Like are what? You, well, are you going to have two walls, three walls, seven walls, seven no walls, walls, a roof, no roof, two roofs? It's up to you. These are some amazing things you're saying. So what I'm hearing is that the possibilities... They're endless. Wow. They're truly endless. Truly endless. Okay. So, use your imagination. Come up with two, three, four ideas. You gotta make okay. sure you have multiple Should I sketch, stories. like, you know, exact measurements or just more of an idea? Well, that's up to your person. If you are a very, like, uh, organized person, of course you can put okay. measurements. Okay. Or if you're more of a, like, a, just go with just the flow. Just getting some ideas. Just started. get some ideas. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, I can handle that. draw lights, because you might have to erase. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Hold the pencil loosely. Don't Loose. choke it. From the back, we don't want to choke our pencil. The proper safety measure. You might break the pencil. And yeah, come back to us with your ideas, and we'll see if they're any good. I guess it's time for your assessment. How was what you created? Well, oh, oh, wow. Now nice. that hey. is some innovation right there. Wow. Yes. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, I like the walls. Oh, the walls are great. Let's see how yours stacks up, well, Botticelli. 
Uh, I might take this person on as my contractor. I know. Now you gotta help I shape up. Yeah. Uh, I decided to take a uh, like a, a an A frame. An A frame? What's that? An A frame is a frame that looks like an A. It's like a triangle. The frame, the frame of the house. Oh, so, so it's like, like a bones. house that looks like an A. Yeah, oh, like this. Cool. Uh, yeah. So I, th I was thinking we'd have two solid cardboard walls on each end. You know, two triangles. Triangles. And Love then triangles. Uh, connect the triangles with uh, popsicle sticks. So you get like a, this like log cabin sort of feel, you know. Oh wow. But also have a little airflow in between. Love um, that cozy and yeah. functional. I was thinking we have a buttress, <gasps> which is like a support system. Yeah, yeah, what's that? S support system. Mm. Uh, it holds up the walls, so mm. another little triangle walk and have two decorative Very uh, architectural. Two decorative blocks or things. I on love the side. a decorative block, okay. And possibly have a quirk. Ooh, that could be a little chimney. Chimney. That's pretty cute. That's my idea. Okay. Here's my idea. What about you? And it's pretty out there, so get ready, okay? Uh oh, that's good. I call it box house, okay? So this is box house, and basically the idea of it is that you can put it in a tree, and it's a box. In a and, house? And a house at the wow. same time. And Crazy. you can cut little guess. windows inside of the box, so they're like windows into a house. But it is a house. Right. Exactly, and here's the best thing about box house. So because it's in a tree and it's hanging, I'm gonna put little strings with little stars at the end of them so they just kind of hang and, and flow in the breeze. So it's like a house, but it's also a decoration. It's maybe my best work. It's actually quite wonderful. Well, Thanks. We will discuss what we're gonna do later, but okay. the next step for you, now that you have your sketches, and you have your final design. Okay. Concepts in mind. Is to start choosing out the walls. Okay. So for me, like you're gonna need a base, of course. So like a nice square or whatever shape you need. Mm -hmm. But we're not constructing the house first. You're gonna want to have your walls. So like if you chose mine, I would use like these triangles. Mm -hmm. You want to set them down, and you're gonna want to decorate them with your found objects. Right? So how do we attach the found objects to them? Well, you use your glue. Love the glue. Or yeah. your tape, depending on how heavy the object is and what you want to go with. So if you want to like occur stars, mm -hmm. you might use tape so they could actually flow a little better. That would be amazing. And the glue. You gotta think about the properties you of your adhesive. So that's one of the most important architectural mm -hmm. concepts. Yeah. Is to focus on on the specifics, you know? Yeah. Adapt. Adapt. That's it. Adapt. Overcome. For example, you'll notice that our accents adapt as we go along. You know, sometimes they're very thick and sometimes they're a little light, depending on the gravity of the situation. We really adapt. Mm -hmm. And I think it also kind of adjusts with whatever colorful object we're holding, you know, because can I paint ahead. the cardboard? Of course you can paint. You can paint the cardboard, you can Color the cardboard with so markers. So when you say decorate the wall, you mean, I mean, I mean decorate, decorate the wall. Go to town. And if I was doing a box house, I could cut out the windows? You could cut out the windows. Do anything you need to do with the walls before you attach them to the frame. Because okay. so after you attach them to the frame, it gets a little difficult. It gets a little, tr it gets it's a little tricky. tricky. Okay, it's okay, tricky. okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so let's do this. Let's decorate the walls. And let's you do this so that we can, again, assess mm -hmm. the situation. Yeah. Uh, make sure that it's good for our client, you know, making bank, doing things, going places. Doing uh, things. And then uh, we'll check back around here, yeah? Yeah. Alrighty, let's see what they've come up with. <gasps> nice, nice. Oh, that Very is a good. surprising touch there over on the left side. Huh. Oh yeah. Measures. Keep your nine and safe. dangerous in here. Okay, let's show them a little bit of what we've done. These aren't? Yeah, so this is what I have. I have my buttress. Very important for structure. Uh, the chimney. Oh, very nice. Yeah, uh, and I have some wall designs, you know, yeah. there's a window. We decided to go with the A-frame design. A-frame design. You know, you gotta collaborate with your partners yeah. if you have them. And then here is the entrance. I uh, built a little door. It opens in. Very important. We don't like out opening doors here. No. Oh uh, yeah, it's got so some stuff. That's yeah, pretty great. Really fun. What I did uh, first is clothespin wall. Ooh. Now this is a very fun wall that you can actually clip things to this your wall. This is very wall. important. Um, very important for uh, note taking. And you can like hanging 
plants for, for the example, little guy can hang plants. I have a piece of paper tape, and then I'm going to clip it. Wow. Decor. Okay. Decor. That's what I'm talking about. Innovation. Okay. Woo -woo! So we got that. And then What's we your also. Board? Oh. Be careful, kids. Be careful. We also have what I like to call uh, the rainbow vowel wall. Ooh, rainbow vowel. Very important. Uh, I've also scavenged something with the name Karee. Paterson. Paterson. Yeah, anyway, sounds a... random piece of paper with that name on it. So I put that on there because I thought it was kind of important. So this stands for um, always everything in our, our universe. universe. Yeah, always everything in our universe. And right? that's what you want to be putting on your walls. Always everything in the universe. Yeah. You don't want to put 19 crimes. No. Gosh, no. See, I tried and doesn't work. Doesn't universe work. said no. Yeah, so we got a rainbow. We got some vowels. It's pretty schnippy. So, We're ready. So now it's time to start building. How do we do that? I'm well a little overwhelmed. You want to get your base. Okay. You have to have plotted out where you're going to put what. So we're going to have our triangle. Shall we show frames. them the idea of what we're going to do? So yeah, we're triangle. Gonna do like this. And then we got the clipping wall right over here. And then we're going to have to do that. Oh look, I'm cool. I put my buttress. It stands on its own. Yeah, that is pretty awesome actually. And then got a little some structure. So, uh, generally, it'll work. It'll, this it'll is it'll going work. to be what it looks like. Good to get a, an approximation before you start gluing. You want to see how it is all going to come together. And then... You don't need... You're going to glue it. Or, if... Like, our walls are pretty thin, so glue might not hold. Yeah. That's what it takes for. Tape is great. Tape is always a good alternative. And you can even use a combination. Yeah. Just where it makes sense. So, if you've used wood to make yours... Yeah, if you use like, these nice thick value pieces... And you have some wood glue... Wood. Glue it together. It's Perfect. Wood glue. But for cardboard, tape is just fine. And a handy little tip. If you don't want to put tape on the outside and kind of create a new design, you could do that if you want to make a tape design. But if you want to keep the design the way it is, you can put some tape on the inside of the walls to connect the walls from the inside out. This is why she gets the big bucks. It's true. It's true. Okay, so why don't you get started and check back here when you're done. Yeah, and we'll see our final products. Okay. Yeah, we'll see you in the studio. 